Today I'm doing my everyday makeup routine. This is my first tutorial ever. Sometimes I change it depending on my mood. I put down below all the links to the products. Let's get into it. When you wake up, you need to use a cleanser. I use my Bioderma Micellar Water for light yet effective cleansing and makeup remover because it's very useful for this purpose since your face has been deeply cleansed the night before. I then use my clinic toner to have the pores stay closed and prepare the skin for a moisturizer. If your town is always sunny, best thing you can invest in and best primer ever is the sun protection cream. There are lots of oily free ones so you don't have to feel crazy. MAC Lip Conditioner is a primer you use on your lips. It will smooth any lines or wrinkles on your lips and will prepare for any kind of lipstick you want to apply it later. Then I use my MAC Studio Scott foundation in NC37. What I love about this is the flawless finish you get in your cheeks. I'd say it's medium to high coverage but nothing too cakey. On the contrary, you can expect a glowy and satin finish. I try a lot and always always come back to MAC. That said, if your skin is already oily, you may prefer another MAC matte foundation. Make sure you blend it properly to get the wanted result. Next step, my Makeup Forever High Definition Powder. Who doesn't know it yet? You need to set it all over in order to have your foundation stays longer. I love the Real Techniques Blast Brush for that, got the perfect size. Something important is applying with little touches more than just dragging around the brush. Now I'm going to apply my MAC Silver Dust. It is a highlighter in powder consistency with ultra shiny pigments. It adds this bubbly glow, not too sparkly, not invisible either. I apply with my Real Technique's contour brush, first in the cheekbone, in the chin, then in the forehead, and also in the bridge of the nose. Be careful, a little goes a long way. And then I use my NARS Orgasm Blusher. I love this perfect golden coral pink color. It gives you a healthy glow in your face. You need to build it in despite of its great pigmentation. I used to apply it with a Yachi brush also from NARS, a high-end pointy brush that takes just a perfect amount of product. This is the only brush I don't take from Brigand Techniques. And it's because the blast brush may be too big for my complexion and much prefer it for powder or even contouring. Time to remove your lip balm. Then the lips. What I love about this lip pencil, which is called the Makeup Forever Aqua Lip in 1C color, is that it is waterproof. It's very, very creamy, so it's easy to work with. And finally, the matte finish. I just love it, I can't rave enough about it. It's a brownie pink, your lips are a better color. I highly recommend this lip pencil whether you like the color or not. Almost done guys, now let's go with the eyes. This is a MAC Quarry Matte Eyeshadow and I apply it with the base shadow brush that I got from the eye collection from Real Techniques. You don't need to apply it all over the eyelids, just a little bit in the corner will do the trick and it will open your eyes. It's a brownie gray berry pigmented and just perfect for everyday use. Don't push too hard or you won't be able to remove excess off. Left, right, left, right and then again, along your eyelid bone. Eye mascara. I'm currently using the Area from Benefit which has a great honey brush. I'm not quite convinced about it because there's no way to avoid the lumpy effect. It's a very very dark black and super long lasting guys for real. You need a good cleanser to take it off. So cross fillings in this. I apply it on the end of the eyelashes for a more natural look. And one tip, let the brush on standby and just move the lashes towards it. And last but not least, take your regular hairspray and then a brow brush, mix them together and voila, you have your do it yourself brow gel. I warranty your eyebrows won't move. 
move upwards in the first half and then just slide the brush towards the end. And that's it, a flawless look. Please excuse my English, I'm not an English teacher, I'm not even English and I just want to try to get to everyone. I hope you guys like it, stay tuned and please don't forget to subscribe.